My prayers have finally been answered. Discotech Media has licensed Fist of the North Star Legends of the True Savior for Blu-ray, and it will have an English dub. There's clips online and some of the voice cast has been revealed. David Wald is back as Toki since Legends of the Dark King. Chris Sabat is Souther. Jason Douglas is Raul. I was hoping for Patrick Seitz for his role in Lost Paradise, but who did return from Lost Paradise is Robbie Damon, who played Kenshiro, and he still has the role. Unfortunately, I'm hyping this up way too early because the Blu-rays will be available in the winter of 2023. According to the Twitter post, only one of the five features have been completely recorded. But what is Legends of the True Savior? Well, it's the closest thing this series has to a reboot. If we don't count pachinkos, that is. From 2006 to 2009, Fist of the North Star released three theatrical films and two OVAs. As a whole, these five features were called Fist of the North Star, Legends of the True Savior. These features were likely made to celebrate the series' 25th anniversary in 2008. The story shown in Legends consists mostly of the finale of the Part 1 series. If you want specifics, these are the episode and manga chapters it covers. While Legends of the True Savior can serve as a gateway to new fans, there are differences from the source material. The villain Raul is romanticized as these films are partially from his perspective and portray him as a necessary evil. There's also new characters added along with additional scenes that were not present in the original story. However, these changes will later appear in the spin-off series Legends of the Dark King. Another example are the character models which are based on Tetsuo Hara's drawing style from the 2000s instead of his 1980s format. Going in the opposite direction of Araki's Jojo, Tetsuo Hara made his men bulkier and the women more curvaceous. These movies accurately capture his artistry with immaculate detail. However, each one of these features showcase different animation studios with varying visuals. The Yuria OVA has the most distinct art as it looks a bit off-model with its close-ups. It also has a brighter color palette in comparison to the other four. Meanwhile, the Toki OVA features character designs by Junichi Hayama, which is always a treat. Production was done by North Star Pictures. Meanwhile, the animation was mainly done by TMS. Overall, they look great. While I highly recommend watching these things, keep in mind that this is not the complete story. True Savior starts in the Souther arc, which is the 10th arc of the series and it continues from there. To be honest, two of these features consist of original stories that are not in the manga. Maybe they should have been about canon stories involving Shin, Mamiya, and Rei. Oh well. Despite not being a complete adaptation and omitting certain characters, Legends of the True Savior works well as a modern condensation of the last three arcs of the Part 1 series. Fist of the North Star has never looked this good, and it's about time these movies and OVAs got licensed. I was certainly surprised when this was announced and I couldn't believe it. Ever since Lost Paradise for the PlayStation 4, Fist of the North Star has made attempts in relevancy and I hope this means something even bigger is coming. We had the mobile game Legends Revive with numerous crossovers, we had Kenshiro appear in Jump Force, the manga is being released in America, Medicos is making action figures, and now this. Is a reboot coming soon? Because the last thing we got was this NFT animated promo done by Masahiko Komino, the chief animation director and character designer of First Stardust Crusaders. Simply manly. I hope one day an actual reboot happens. Until then, I look forward to the 2023 Region 1 release for Fist of the North Star Legends of the True Savior. My name is Alex and thank you for watching my channel, The Anime Hero. Next time, more news as Discotegas grabbed a lot of other things, including... Ultimate Muscle!